Hi folks, Rudy Rich here. Trying to find a play to do for your 55 plus community? It's amazing how difficult that can be sometimes. I've made this little promotional video to introduce a 55 plus comedy titled Person of the Year. The acting clips are taken from a performance done in Hemet, California in the winter of 2019. So please take a few minutes as this video presents you with some clips from that performance and some short interviews with the primary actors and the director. Uh, you played uh, Cord Barsman, right? That's right. Cord, Cord the uh, hyperphrenic host. Good word. <laughs> for a wild and crazy night this evening's whole hotly condensed four seasons person of the year award ceremony. Thing to take care of everybody, right? He may have more than one girlfriend. That's unclear. <laughs> He's got one though that he uh, that bosses him around a little bit. I know I didn't come <coughs> home last night, but I I uh, oh you know. Well I noticed that too. And word is, you were last seen leaving the bar with your friend, Daddy Dallas. Well, that can't be true. What? That you didn't come home, or, or that you left with Debbie Dallas? Oh, well, I know I didn't come home, but, but I remi remember leaving with Bushwhacker and Bullet Tooth. What did you play? I played Tish. Tish, okay, and who exactly was Tish? Um, she was the hostess. Right. Right. With cord. She puts all of that and more into co-hosting Tish Krenwinkle. <laughs> oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sandy. And welcome to the fourth annual Person of the Year Award Ceremony here in beautiful Four Seasons 55 Plus Community in... Uh, in uh, Hemet, California. <laughs> Tonight. Character? Well, I played Buzzy, Buzz somebody, Buzz Walter? Buzzwinger. Buzzwinger, that was it. Right? It was just Buzz. <laughs> and he was in a buzz the whole play. So it was kind of uh, kind of fun being a drunk again. Everybody <laughs> loves seeing the local minister being drunk. I really need to go, like, wash my face and take a few minutes no, to go over No, no problem, Court. I'll work with him. Oh, so Mr. Buzzlinger, right? Uh, exactly right. <laughs> Only my friends and, and, and most everybody call me Buzzy. Buzzy? You know, Buzz, Buzz. <laughs> Or whatever. Yeah, it was a Pratt fall as well. Yeah, I call. just grabbed a chair and went over and right. held my drink up and said, "I didn't spill a drop." Everybody liked your performance so much they were applauding. <laughs> yeah. Though, oh, oh, don't forget to vote for Buzzy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I, won't I didn't spill a drop. I was a cheerleader. Connie. And, oh, Connie, right. And uh, so what was Connie's main personality like? She's full of pep. Pep is what I'm all about. And um, she's just a, a very lively, you know, kind of like vivacious kind of a person, a little, little in your face most of the time. <laughs> I am going to make a speech. Swim in the ocean, lay on the beach. I am going to make a speech. <laughs> I was never a cheerleader. Our beloved director was, thank God, so she had something to fall back on. I never did that. So join me. Give me a one. One. Give me a two. Two. Give me a three. Three. Give me a four. Four. Four seasons. Four seasons. Yay! Yeah. Remember to vote for Connie. And there's uh, Sergeant Emma Ratchet, if I remember. Is that right? Hatchet. Hatchet, ratchet? <laughs> Either way, yes, that was my character. Death, destruction, anarchy, desolation, the whole world descending into a deluge of darkness. Oh, my friends. Hold it. Hold it. Hold the book. Okay, and, and how'd that work for you? Did you like it? I liked it a lot because... Um, 
I felt that she is was a very dedicated, no nonsense, here's my job type thing. So it wasn't too much of a stretch for me. So. Okay, so you're saying it's typecasting. <laughs> I guess you did typecast pretty well for that one. <laughs> Why are you raising your hand, sir? I just wanted to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I didn't want to make any sudden movement. <laughs> number one or number two, sir? Uh, I played Wilbur uh, Hogbottom. Okay, what would you think about Willard Hogbottom? Uh, Willard was an interesting character. He... Uh, he had a real passion for uh, what he wanted to do. What is it he was doing? Uh, he was the, lo the local expert on gopher uh, eradication. I hold the record for 576 gophers killed. <laughs> it was a lot of work. <laughs> But it was fun for me. <laughs> well, I, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure whether he was simple, yeah, or whether he uh, was actually pretty complex and just wasn't able to uh, to express what it was that was within him. He was a, a, a noble warrior, that Zippy. <laughs> And, and suddenly he came flying out backwards and flipped right over. And he looked me right square in the face like, okay, Willard, I guess I can't win them all. And that was the end of it. So my first question is, how did you like being the director for Person of the Year? I enjoyed it very much. It was uh, challenging. Uh, but a lot of laughter and fun, and had a great cast. Made it very easy. And did anything happen that you didn't think was going to happen? <laughs> During the evening? Of... During the performance. During the performance. Well, yes, um, I did actually fall down on stage, which was unplanned. <laughs> There's rumors that you uh, played a character called Phoebe Fontaine. Is there any truth to that? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, she is my alter ego, my inner hoe, and she performed all her parodies as halftime entertainment. Halftime. Intermission entertainment. Whatever. Halftime. Okay. Mm -hmm. Halftime entertainment. And... <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this little trailer synopsis of Person of the Year. I'm Rudy Rich, the writer of the play. I also produced the performance you saw clips from. Our little company had a lot of fun doing it, and our audience seemed to love it. We did the play as Four Seasons Person of the Year, but I'd like to make it clear that it could be done for any 55 plus community. It could be called Leisure World's Person of the Year, or Shady Acres Person of the Year, or 
whatever the name of your community. It would be easy to add little things in the dialogue to personalize it to your local community, and I would encourage that. So if you're looking for something that has one easy set, six main characters, and room for seven or more small cameo parts, Person of the Year could be the play for you.